Good morning. It's day five, I think. Yes, and um, Diana and I just packed up from our campsite at Lake Aloha. I mentioned it last night, but I camped at this exact place um, by myself when I was hiking the PCT. So I was trying to find it and we came across it and there's some more overgrown like um, bushery and grass, but like the little, the exact camp spot I was at was still there and great. So it's just been really cool to you know, almost like recreate these memories from the PCT. But here, let me show you the campsite. So that's where I slept last night and Diana slept over here. But yeah, a lot of this wasn't here when I was camping. But either way, it's nice boulders and you can kind of see like the lake in the distance. And there's various other people camping around here, but for the most part, it's pretty quiet. There were some really epic spots like out like on the water but you're supposed to camp 200 feet from the lake so we were trying to respect that but um this was perfect we went for a swim last night and we cooked food and ate dinner on the boulders next to the lake watched the sunset and it was just amazing it got a little chilly last night before we went to bed but then once you're in your tent and um, it's almost like too hot, so it's just been like perfect weather and Diana was even mentioning She's like it's so weird because we haven't seen one cloud and I was like you're right like there's just no clouds Beautiful blue skies no rain and not extremely hot temperatures. So it's just been really really great so far <music> Um, right now we have about six and a half miles to Echo Chalet. Um, we have a little bit of some climbs, but overall it's a lot of downhill. So hopefully it shouldn't take us more than, you know, three hours with breaks and everything. My dad is meeting us there. Bless his soul. Um, I hope some of you guys are excited to see him. But yeah, he's bringing us all of our resupply boxes. And we did this so we could be safe and not go into the towns. But we have our masks ready because I'm sure there'll be some people congregated um, because it is a popular trailhead. So we'll have our masks ready to go. And one thing I wanted to note was um, we've seen some people on trail. There's not a lot of people out here, but every single person on trail has been so respectful. Um, either wearing their masks while hiking or um, Diane and I don't wear our masks while we're hiking but if we see someone what we do is we step we step off trail and we turn away and we put our heads down and so we create like a huge distance between ourselves and other hikers and if we've talked to other people we're all doing it really far apart or putting our masks on and so it's been really great to see that Honestly, seriously, every single person on this trail has been so respectful. So that's just been great. Um, I just love hikers. So yeah, I'm going to get started on these six miles and hopefully it's a great, easy, wonderful, beautiful morning. Okay, so Diana and I are just having a fabulous morning. We're happy, it's so beautiful. And then Diana realizes, she's like, I think we were supposed to be going up an incline. What happened is we looked at our maps and yeah, we were going on the wrong trail. We are going, I think on Lake of the Woods, yeah. I think it was. Like, why is this so easy? We thought we were supposed to be going uphill. Yeah, so thankfully Diana caught it. She was in front, so I was just like following, which, I should be paying attention to but so we just had to make our way back and it was only about like a half mile total but um yes back on track. we're back on track we're back on the trail we're taking a little break we're recouping everything's all right but you know sometimes it happens but we can do this no more getting lost i don't want to 
want to do any extra miles. No extra miles. <laughs> happy to report that I finally had a smooth move. I can keep eating my cheese, baby. So one cool thing about uh, the Echo Lakes, I think specifically the lower Echo Lake, is people have cabins all around it, but there's no road access. So in order to get to these cabins, you have to boat in, kayak, swim, anything. Busted out the mask, because we're nearing the Echo Chile and there's like a ton of people. So everyone's covered. Diana's getting hers on. Mine's not fancy or cute, but it works. Oh, it's amazing. We made it. I'm so happy. Yeah, me too. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> <laughs> We're so excited. <laughs> Dad, hey. we're so happy to see you. Papa. 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 I smell so bad. Uh, Hi, Dad. Uh, come on, bro. Look at my dad came through. Ice chest full of cold drinks. Fruit, ice, yes. ice this time. Ice, oh yeah. Ice. ice. Oh, you just want okay. some ice? All right, we're leaving Echo Chalet. We're here for about three and a half hours. And we don't want to leave, but there's nowhere to camp, so we have to hike. Woo! I feel a little sick. I ate a lot of salami and cheese, but it's okay. <sighs> This is like dangerous, US 50. We, we came upon a we're all gonna cross together. We're good. Go, 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 let's go. Go, go. Oh, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> She's fucking. No. You gave him the finger, I love it. He gave us up. Oh, I'm gonna go tell him off. I mean. What do you want us 
to do. God. Oh, he slipped in. We did it though. We did. All, right. All right. Well, good luck. Okay. See you soon. Okay, so that happened pretty abruptly. I was like, all right, we're gonna wait. But the horse lady saw an opening. She was like, go, go, go. So um, she wanted us to um, cross with her and the horses, you know, just to be safe. Last time I did that, it was pretty sketchy. Um, I had to wait for, I don't know, like 10 minutes or something. But we found an opening. No one was coming on our right. There was a car far down on the left. We start crossing and this like sports car or whatever just starts honking at us because he has to slow down. Like I know that's a weird thing to see but there's so much traffic so we had to take our chance. So the horse lady gave him the finger and I mean I was kind of amused. So yeah, but we cross safely and the horses get a break soon. So just gotta, gotta keep those babies safe. We came across this poop. <laughs> Any guesses on what it is? You know what, let me stick my finger in it and just taste it. Why don't you taste. taste it? Diana, please um, come here. Please um, come taste yeah. this and let us know what kind of maybe berries, flesh, anything in it so we know what animal this is. Okay, she's gone. Action. Yeah. A little flow. Cool. Alright, we have a huge incline coming up. We can do it. So, we look so poised. We're taking just a quick break. And I just wanted to mention, because I forgot earlier, that when my dad was there, he brought us all his fresh fruit and there was a family who had been backpacking and they were just kind of off, off a bit and my dad offered them some fruit and the mother of this family started telling us that they camped at Lake Aloha last night like we did and they had all of their, it was a family of four, right? Yeah. Family of four, and they had hung all of their bear bags in the trees. And in the middle of the night, they heard, you know, something like stomping around. And then it was a bear, and it swiped all of their bear bags. All of them. So they didn't have any food. So that's why they were, like, very appreciative of the fresh fruit. But... Yeah, we were reading comments on our um, Gut Hook app about bears swiping people's food all the time. And it's just wild to me. Yikes. So, you know, especially when you're camping in these really popular areas like Lake Aloha, um, you just, you just never know. You never know. You never yeah. know. So we made it to camp, we did this big climb, and I'm really proud of us because usually we want to um, camp at the base of a big hike, of a big climb. Ah, oh, the mosquitoes! But we decided to camp, uh, hike, I'm so distracted because these mosquitoes. We decided to hike two thirds of the climb, and so I think we're both feeling stronger. Um, we have some beautiful views of Lake Tahoe and the mountains and the sun's starting to set and the, the little clouds are getting pink and yeah, it's just really beautiful. And yeah, hoping to have a really strong day tomorrow. Maybe our biggest yet on the Tahoe Rim Trail. But I'm literally getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. Like you saw what I already look like and it's pretty much going to double. So I took some Benadryl. See, they're just eating me alive. So this is me saying goodnight because I'm in a do a few more things and then go straight into my tent because literally my whole body is just one big mosquito bite. Anyway, that's it for today and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.